Hello, this is a Swift 3C setup video. So I'm going to show you quickly how to set up your little Swift 3C camera. So uh, yeah, it comes in two parts. Uh, just with the clips on the side. So uh, obviously for a start, if you just unclip your camera, take your back off, and uh, put your batteries in the back section. You'll need batteries, uh, all eight batteries in the camera. Make sure they're all in there well. And uh, put another four batteries in your bottom section there. It's your SD card. Make sure you put it in. So if you're looking at the screen on the back, then uh, your SD card goes in upwards. And you make sure you close this section up well. Just screw them up so it's watertight. Uh, if you then turn your camera on and hit your OK button, That'll bring on the logo. So it was switch on and then hit OK and that brings up this logo. And uh, then the menu. So uh, this will actually show you what the camera is looking at. So through the viewer you can see what it's looking at. Uh, so you can get your angles and that sort of thing worked out for your area. Um, to see that uh, the area you're covering helps for that sort of stuff. Uh, hit your menu button. That brings up your your, your three menus that you've got here. This is your first menu. So to go from menu to menu, you just hit your right arrow. You can see it's gone over to the next menu over there. But if we start back here in that in that first menu, and if you hit your down arrow, it goes to the first setting is camera ID, uh, and that's just where you can adjust uh, or put a name in there. So if you hit on, you can then uh, put in a, a, a number. Uh, of, of the camera, so you can say camera 1, camera 2, etc. But I'll, I'll just keep that off for now. Camera mode, this is where you can adjust whether you want it in photo mode. Because it, if you have a look down here at these uh, buttons down here, I've got it on the up on this one here, which is on photo. If I had that, that one switched down, it'd be on the video mode. So when it's up on photo mode, you get the option of uh, uh, the camera taking photos or photos plus video so you can have it take a photo and then it'll do a video after the photo just keep mine on photo mode. Image size, uh, 5 megapixel is what we recommend. Uh, you can see there you can go 8 or 12. I don't find a lot of difference because the camera's got a 5 megapixel sensor in it. Uh, by going up to the 8 and the 12 megapixel images I don't find they're much better than the 5 and they also take up more image processing time so we always recommend to people keep them in the 5 megapixel. Now night mode, uh, I really like uh, this minimum blur setting and I recommend most people to put it on minimum blur. Uh, you have got other options there, you've got maximum range uh, and balanced. Maximum range just means uh, the shutter is staying open longer so it can illuminate further back into the image. The problem with that is uh, with the shutter being open longer there's going to be more blur in your photo. So it's okay if you're just trying to uh, take a photo of something a fair way off uh, but it could be a bit blurry and uh, what you're picking up. Balanced is uh, it increases the shutter speed just a little bit more. Minimum blur is where it has a faster shutter speed so it's the fastest setting uh, for your shutter but then it also pumps out a bit of extra flash as well. So it does use a little bit more battery, but not much. Uh, and um, so, so the image isn't dark, it uses that little bit of extra um, um, flash as well. So uh, I, I really like minimum blur, as I said. Multi-shot mode, this is where you can uh, select how many photos you want the camera to take. Uh, so you can have it on up to a five shot burst every time it senses movement. So instead of just taking one photo uh, when it senses movement, uh, you can have it take two, three, four, five images if you like. Uh, so it takes them uh, roughly about half a second apart. 
uh, your video size so you can select uh, your video settings you can go full 1080 HD if you want in there uh, that's what I usually like to use uh, video length so you select how long you want your video to run for um, usually I find 20 to 30 seconds a good length of time so you just go in there select 20 uh, with your camera uh, sorry I might have confused you with your confused uh, some people with the settings uh, it's just basically using these these arrows to select things in the OK button over here so to go into anything and change it if I want to change video length whatever's highlighted red you just hit OK and that allows you to select it using your up and down arrows you can change what you want and then hit OK to select it and then down here you can see menu exit OK to set uh, so I'll just hit OK there, menu, get me back out again. This is your menu button, the one with the M on it. Uh, so video length was the last one in, the, in that first menu. To go over to the next menu, just hit your right arrow, it takes us over to PIR. Uh, first one, so hit down arrow, it takes you to the first one, highlighted red there, sensitivity, hit OK. So this is a very sensitive camera. Uh, so with your PIR sensitivity, uh, you might want to have it on the low setting, particularly if you've got a lot of vegetation uh, blowing around in front of the camera. Uh, try and minimise any of that vegetation is your best thing by, by removing it uh, if possible. It's only going to be an issue uh, in the middle of the day, usually between 10 and 2 o'clock uh, if it's blowing around because what the cameras pick up is the movement of heat. Not just movement, but it's got to be movement of heat. Um, you can set the camera so the duty time is only operating outside of those times if you're not interested in what's going on in the middle of the day. Uh, so, yep, sensitivity is there. Delay, the delay time is just uh, your time in between images. Uh, so you can, you know, put if you want a delay in between your photos, that's where you can set that there. For example, it takes a photo, then you can set a delay for 30 seconds before it takes another photo. Uh, most people don't have that setting on uh, and are happy to have the camera take photos as quickly as possible. Uh, time lapse. Uh, time lapse is uh, when you're wanting to take a photo, uh, say, of a construction site or something like that. They're commonly used for that sort of thing. You can set the camera to take a photo every 15 minutes. Uh, timer setting, that's that duty timer I was talking about. If you turn that on, you then can go in there and, and uh, tell your camera what hours of operation you want it to come on during the day. So, for instance, some people have them just active uh, at night time where they set them to come on at 6 at night and then uh, they set them to turn off at um, uh, 6 in the morning. So you can set all that up there. Uh, the uh, other settings that you have, so if we hit our menu button to go back up to the to change this uh, top menu, hit your right arrow, go down to other. Uh, language you don't have to worry about, it's set on English. Date, time, that's something you want to set up in the camera. Set it to the correct date and time. So then that's written across all the bottom of your photos. Uh, time stamp I like to have on and that's that's the date and time written across the bottom of the images. Battery type, this is where you can set it to either be uh, alkaline batteries or your rechargeable nickel metal hydrides as well. Uh, frequency you don't have to worry too much about. Uh, SD card cycle, uh, that's, that just means if you want to replace old images uh, you can turn that on and it'll just save photos over the top of the old photos on the SD card once it fills up the card. That's usually a lot of photos though before you'll fill up an SD card. Uh, reset just takes your camera back to its original default settings. You can put a password in the camera as well so that when you turn it on you need to have a password uh, typed in so that uh, uh, they can, someone can access the camera. But uh, pretty much that's all the settings of the unit. Um, really good little cameras. Um, make sure you to turn them on uh, when you want to get them going. You turn this off and switch it back on and look at the front of the camera and you'll see a red light flashing on the front of the camera and that red light tells you everything's okay um, you've remembered to turn it on and uh, it's about to start when that red light stops like it has now it's taking photos so the camera is taking uh, photos of us right now 
then you put your back back on the camera and the, the easiest way to do that is with this slot in the back here you just put it into there and just close it up it's quite simple and then do your latches up on the side and uh, the camera also comes with a strap that you can put through the back and you can then just strap that onto your post uh, or onto your tree wherever you're going to put the camera uh, yeah all the best with it uh, and if you've got any questions just give us a call or email us Thank you.